Hello there and a very, very warm welcome this Tuesday evening. My name's Sean Wright. Now, every Tuesday at 8 o'clock, we always have the Planet Cruise TV show. It's a show that's been running now for many, many years. And we always bring you some of the hottest and the best deals around. Many of the offers are exclusive. We've also got some massive savings. I know we've got a big regular audience that always tune in. So big hello to you. But if you're new to maybe the show, if you've never been on a cruise, I just hoped we, I really do hope we tempt you tonight because honestly, once you've experienced a cruise, you will never ever go back to a traditional land holiday because they appear really boring, believe me. And here to tell us all about the deals is a gentleman. Well, <laughs> no, maybe not a gentleman. No, let, actually, no, let's rewind. Let's rewind. Hang on, there's advertising. You can't say that. You can't say gentleman when, you know, Here's the article's chat. got to be genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Justin Hazel? I'll leave How that. Doing? Who no. has worked on the cruise ships for many years? Nice many years, six Justin. years. Yeah, I was, can I just say, at this time of the year, where all the shops are closing, it's all Sunday opening hours. Not only is Ideal World staying open, uh, giving great bargains, but also uh, with Planet Cruise, we're yeah. ready to take your calls, and we've got some of the hottest bargains before one of the busiest periods uh, of our year. Yeah. Because you know, this is now when everybody's looking to book the cruise. We've got a great cruise that's coming up a little bit later on, which is looking forward not to new. Year year 2017 but new year 2018 we're looking a year into the future and we've pleased to say got a lot of the deals tonight which are just deposits yes. only the problem is yes it's expensive at this time of the year um, and you've probably spent a lot on christmas and you're probably thinking about the new year and thinking oh cut back deposits from as little as £50 pounds mm. on some of the cruises. And some really, um, some really low price cruises. I mean, yes. some of them well, start low under price cruises, £500. We have got one cruise, and I will point this out, I said about deposit only, we've got one cruise that if you can complete it by the 30th of December, you will probably have one of the best deals on one of the best cruise lines. Six star, all inclusive, and to celebrate your booking when you've completed your purchase, you also receive a Fortnum & Mason uh, yeah. champagne hamper as well. And that's, so, with, uh, that's with Silver Sea. Yeah, yes, yeah, we've yes, got that coming up later yes. on, so I won't spoil so, too much, so we've got plenty of store. They really something for everybody, and so just sit back, relax. By the way, I hope you had a great Christmas. Hope you had a great Christmas, Justin. Sure, let's crack on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's like, yeah, Christmas is gone. Let's look forward to next year. Yeah, that to cruises. be fair, think about it. Christmas is over. We've got the new year to look forward to. Cold, storms, general going back to work. Hang on, sorry, we are at work. But you know what I'm saying, that yeah. the beginning of January is kind of a depressing, yeah. sad, boring time. Look forward to a cruise. Well, I tell you what, let's begin then, because we're starting <laughs> off with Princess Cruises on board the Crown Princess. Um, and the price on this one starts at just 489 per person. And I've got to say, just I only, I only cruised with Princess for the first time um, last year, but... I was so impressed. Yeah, oh, Princess amazing. is fantastic. I mean, I, I work at P&O, which is obviously the British side of Princess. Fantastic brand, and they share the same sort of platforms on ships, so I know a lot of these ships well. Well, I'll tell you what, um, without further ado, let's take you on board and give you a little taster with John. Princess Cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to Mexico. Today, the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world. Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ships outside cabins as well as 24 hour dining and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as movies under the stars and the sanctuary adults only oasis. In the fitness centre, you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. But if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here, to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. 
Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows, with some of the largest casts at sea. All shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, as well as shows you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar. Something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships, and it's a great way to end the day. Fabulous experience. Jerry, we were just saying about low deposits. This one is really low, isn't it? Yeah, low deposit of £50 per person. And uh, that w still, the whole cruise itself works out at under £70 per night per person. We've got a great price for a family of four as well uh, at £1,279. And I need to point out that if you are a princess passenger, then there is an additional discount as well for past princess passengers. Mm. Uh, so just ask, uh, when, yeah. well, speak to your advisor and they'll explain how that's applied. Yeah, princes do really look after previous oh, de passengers. And people do go yeah. back time and time again. I really, I like this one. It's a great first cruise, of course, as well. Anyway. Good point. Yeah, but what we were going to say, we're going out to Southampton, yeah. uh, which is a great, port for, a great port for those of you that don't fly. Also, it's only a seven-night cruise. So if you haven't been on a ship before, if you haven't cruised before, why not do it? You're not having to fly anywhere. You're not having to be away for two weeks. And where you're going is fantastic. It's from Southampton, you're straight over to Guernsey, uh, over to a little place called St. Peter's Port. Now, it's a fantastic port itself. It's a tender port. You go into the actual harbour itself. You see beautiful uh, images around there. Really good for silver, if you like your silver jewellery. Uh, and, of course, there's plenty to see and do. You can actually get the ferry across uh, to Sark if you want. And if you want to do some of the historic stuff uh, surrounding the uh, Second World War, uh, then, of course, you can do that as well. Then you have a relaxing day at sea, and I, I, I really recommend that the fact that it's only a seven-night cruise, spend that time on board the ship mm. to explore, because then you're planning your next cruise, your next uh, adventure away. Because, I mean, this is a grand class ship that you can see here. Fantastic promenade deck. You can just sit out on there, take in the fresh sea air, wander around. You've got the, uh, the crazy golf as well, the pitch and putt. Um, it, with, with Princess, it's just and such a great product. I, I tell you what, the, the, the lounges, I mean, you can oh. see some of them here. If I just what? listed, you've got the, the theatres, you've got the lounges, Club Fusion, the Wheelhouse Bar, Adagio Bar, Speakeasy Cigar Lounge, Skywalker's Nightclub, uh, Crooner's Bar, a casino, and then the movies Under the Stars as well. And that's not even mentioning... Uh, the restaurants and the eateries that are there. There's an outdoor pizzeria. There's uh, the Salty Dog Gastro Pub as well. There's a steakhouse. There's an Italian. Uh, and then there's the three main um, dining rooms as well. That's but what, if you're ever bored on a cruise ship, something's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Talking of bored, Bordeaux. Oh, yeah. Uh, so. we're, we're in sea now. Oh, yeah. Now, this is one of the ports, of course, very much like Paris. You do, um, you do dock at Verdun and then you take uh, a trip in. So I would recommend perhaps book a, uh, a tour and excursion here. I mean, you can see some of the fantastic Baroque palaces there. One thing that I'd want to go to is go and see the Chateau Rothschilds, where they produce all the wine. Because, of course, they produced the wine. They were quite literally known as the King's Wine. Um, and, of course, uh, apart from that, you've got all the vineyards as well. Then we're into Bilbao. Now, Bilbao has actually got a, a real mixture of culture because what you've got here is you've got the Castilians of Madrid and you've got the Basque French region as well really colliding so you've got fantastic culture great artwork as well you've got the Guggenheim Museum there which is a piece of art in itself um, and certainly I'd, I'd have a wander around the old quarter um, a lot of these these French and Spanish ports you can just have a wander and get lost um, you're not going to go far wrong with finding a little cafe or a little bar, and it's amazing what little gems you can unturn. Then we're into La Coronia. Now, this is a fantastic port in itself. One of the things that I've wanted to do um, is definitely go and see the Tower of Hercules. This is, I think, something like 3,000 years old. Um, it's, yeah, and it's, it's a working lighthouse. It's one of the oldest lighthouses in existence. But if you do like to do your history and you do like to perhaps do a, a religious uh, pilgrimage, then you can go to Santiago de Compostela. Uh, as well. Also, historically, this is where the Invincible Armada actually sent sail uh, in 1588, so uh, going back a few years. Um, after that, then you've got relaxing day at sea. Again, make the most of the ship, enjoy the spa perhaps, or, or perhaps the onboard entertainment, 
and then you're back into Southampton and that completes a lovely seven night cruise for just 70 pounds per person and, per night. And honestly, when you think all of your food is included and, and you know, that, that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, afternoon tea, you know, you name it. Again, you'll never get home going to cruise ship and the food. Yeah is outstanding. Now you'll also get with this one uh, up to $75 on board spend. The way that works, that will be actually on your account as you board and you can use that towards virtually anything you like. So it might be spa treatment, it might be a bit of shopping, but you will get up to $75 on board spend per stateroom as well. Just to mention that brilliant price for a family of four. So a whole family could get away from just one, two, seven, nine. Um, now, if Southampton is a little bit far away from where you actually live, um, we've got a really great relationship with the Mean Valley Marriott. So you can actually stay there for only 89 pounds per person uh, per night, and that will include all of your parking for the week and your port transfer as well. And the Marriott really look after at Planet well, Cruise customers. You, you stayed there yourself. Yeah, I, said, I times. think. Th I mean, this is something that's on offer with quite a few of our cruises this evening. Um, do stay at the Marriott because yeah. it's a great hotel. How much would it cost to stay in a Marriott hotel? That's the first thing to think about. How much is your parking per day for seven days? So that's a week's free yeah, parking. I bet that would add up to, I'd have thought, at least seven to eight pounds, wouldn't you? Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. and even your port transfers, whether you use a taxi surface, whether you use uh, you know, an internet app, or whether you take a bus, or how much is that going to cost yeah. you? And the inconvenience. Everything is packaged up there for just £89 per person for that one night of the minute. And it just takes the stress out it's, of it, doesn't I'll, it? I'll do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. Oh, and uh, as, as just to mention, Princess Pass passengers uh, will get an additional discount. Just Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I did that Princess quite well. Princess Pass passengers. <laughs> I couldn't have said that on Christmas Day. Uh, anyway, uh, price there starts at 489. Um, all the cruises have their own ID number. It just makes it easier when you give us a call on that free phone number. And the one for this one is 108777. So give us a call right now. And remember, you can secure your place for just £50. Now, I'm very excited about the next cruise. I wonder why, sure. Well, <laughs> as it happens, I'm going to be hosting the next one. Um, how, how many days have you got left in the UK before you head out to Australia? Uh, seven. Seven, seven yeah. days. We, we lose it. Don't worry. We, we're we're going to have ball back for the, uh, the majority of, of January with myself. But you get chance to host a cruise. And indeed, viewers, you get chance to cruise with this gentleman. You certainly and do. And even raise a toast at a <laughs> private cocktail party. Um, hey, honestly, I, I love hosting the cruises. By the way, yours isn't the Australian one. I'm doing that in January. This is um, a brilliant one that I chose to host that's taken us over to Canaries. And it's in October when it all gets, you know, when it all gets really depressing and, and cold. This is a great chance of getting some fantastic sun. And it's actually on board my favourite ship, which is the Eclipse. This is her last... Um, season out of the UK as well, you know. Another yeah. reason I wanted to do this one. And, and you know what, for those of you that are celebrity passengers, apart from the fantastic facilities, yes, this ship has got a fantastic acre of real grass at the top of the ship, fantastic balconies and, well, unbelievably luxurious right. spaces as well. Um, but you do get attached to a particular ship. Yeah. I've got it's to like say a this, hotel yeah, or the... a bar or a restaurant, you like to go back there. And this ship, it's the last season in Europe. Um, if you want to, you know, m maximise that, then it's a good excuse to book another cruise and just see her on her way. But honestly, if you've looked at the Clips before, she's award-winning. She was voted the best ship to sail out of Southampton. Um, and every aspect of the celebrity experience is modern luxury in its absolute finest. Mm. Love it. I mean, I love the ship. And um, what's going to be nice, I honestly, I'll be on board the whole of the cruise. Sometimes I get... They're not just flying you in no, for a day yeah, and a signing session. Right, sometimes then... I just get to the part of it. And <laughs> the, whole, you, the whole 10 days, um, I'm hosting the private cocktail party. And the best thing is, I just get to meet you guys and chat to you. And I love that part of it. So promise me, you'll come up and say hello. I look a lot younger in real life. So if you think, oh, no, that's Sean's son. No, no, it is, it's, it is me. Um, but I am quite short in real life as well, so just to warn you. Stop it, stop putting yourself down. I'm just, this is what passengers always say to me. Oh, you look a lot shorter than you do on the telly. Oh, but you'll, you'll be younger. You'll be, you'll be pleased to know that unfortunately there's not any room in, in Sean's suit, suitcase for me. Um, you'd need a pretty big suitcase. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. This You'd time. have a laugh, though. I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you. No, the thing with celebrity, I would, all joking aside, I would love to go on to a celebrity yeah, know, cruise because... You know, they know how to do it well. They've got one of the best wine collections at sea. They've got some fantastic innovations. The Martini Ice Bar, you've got fantastic craft ales as well that are available. And it's just that we used to get cruise ship envy. We'd be on the same quayside and you see a celebrity ship and you go, 
Oh, I'd love to be going up that game. And, and I'm not being fun. I wouldn't have chosen to, to host it and, and to be, be, be there you know, with, with everybody if I wasn't really proud of Slope Cheese as a product. They are fantastic. Mm. They really are. Um, but um, I also think this is a nice easy one as well. It's out of Southampton. There's no long flights or anything like that. Two days at sea, so just get to explore the ship, all of those fabulous facilities. And we're making our way over to Madeira. And I've only been to Madeira once. Oh. And I was dying to go back as it happened. You like Madeira, don't I you? I absolutely love Madeira. Sometimes, if you're doing a transatlantic crossing, you only get a morning or afternoon there because they're stocking up on, uh, on supplies. Uh, but you get a whole day, and uh, in fact, you get an overnight here as well on board, which I think is a really, really unique opportunity. Madeira itself, in fact, this is the, the main town. If you follow on round to the left-hand side, that's where the actual cruise terminal is. There's some fantastic bars and restaurants around the, the sort of uh, central marina. There's some great hotels if you want to go out a little bit further. But one of the things that I'll definitely say to, to do is go and see some of the gardens. Yeah, because I, I will be Because doing that. of the location, because of the actual climate, uh, they've got one of the best flower markets and you know I'm not the type of guy that you strike as horticulturist or green fingered the, the flower market is unbelievable um, another thing that I'd, I'd definitely recommend is going to Blandy's the, the Madeira Wine uh, Museum uh, where well, it's a museum and a production uh, line as well so you can go in there and you can buy your own bottle of uh, Blandy's I've actually still got Madeira wine that I'm keeping it's not like it was already 10 years old when I bought it. I hope it doesn't actually age out. Um, but a fantastic place. And the fact that you've got it overnight mm. is just superb. Um, after Madeira, we're actually going to head across to the Canaries. And you can't get more Canarian than Tenerife. Uh, my other half had the pleasure of actually spending many years over here actually living. Um, only got a chance to go in in the day. And, well, just in the daytime, fantastic for its beaches, unbeatable for its shopping. As well, if you do like shopping, then Santa Cruz is fantastic for shopping. Um, if you've perhaps got a family with you, you want to do something a little bit family orientated, then you've got Laura Park as well. Or if you fancy going up Mount Tidi as well, that's what I'm going to do. It, at the moment, Mount Tidi, she's, she's got a lot of friends that are still out there. You can be led on the beach right now today. It'd probably be a little bit chilly, but you'd, you can be on the beach and look up, and there's the snow-capped mountains. Really? It's just fantastic. So uh, you'll love that. And then uh, very much, it's sort of. It's like salt and pepper. You can't have one without the other. You've got to go to Lanzarote. Um, this has got a completely different landscape. This is unbelievable. And it, it, it looks like a completely different part of the world. It looks like another world. Uh, and in fact, some of the architecture here is, is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, one thing to, to go and see and do is the, uh, the actual national park itself. You can go to Timofea. Um, and they have a region here called the Montanas del Fuego, which is, uh, translates quite literally into the Mountains of Fire. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, volcanic activity here, so you've got black sand. So uh, I was a little bit naughty, actually. If anybody's from Lanzarote, you're missing uh, a <laughs> Coke bottle full of black sand. It's sat in your bedroom. I just brought it back as, you know, a little bit of a memento. Anyway, uh, nice relaxing day at sea to make the most of the ship. And then we're into Vigo. And, of course, we cover Vigo earlier on. Uh, you can go to uh, Santiago de Compostela here. Um, you can go to uh, perhaps see the... Uh, the uh, Terra of Hercules as well. The fish market here is really good. Really, really good here. So uh, have a little bit of wander around. After that, nice relaxing day at sea, and then you're back into Southampton. Again, perfect. Ten nights, great price on this one as well, and great time of the year. Well, I was going to say, there's a lot included in this one, actually. So I just a want to lot. talk you through. Now, um, I, I will let you know, I have got the classic drinks package. So, um, yes, you will see me in the bars, particularly the Martini Bar. Um, everyone will get that and free parking when booking an ocean view and above. We've got some really great prices on the ocean views and the balconies. In fact, most of you have booked a balcony so far with this one. But yes, you will get the free classic drinks package and the free parking. Remember, it's for 10 nights when booking an ocean view and above. Now, we've actually prepaid all the gratuities as well, so none of us have to worry about anything like that. I'm going to be on board the whole cruise cap. Wait till you'll see me out and about. Um, and say, please come up and chat to me. And also, you will be invited to an exclusive cocktail party. I always, um, you know, always get to chat to everybody and answer any questions and things like that. But I am so looking forward to that in uh, October. I won't be making the cocktails, by the way, I but I will be what, drinking though, them. Can I, can I say something to the viewers? Yes. And I'm, I'm going to embarrass you now. What? But in a, in, a, in a very, very, very good way, in a very, very endearing way. The simple fact of the matter is, just before we came on air, we were talking about work and what we'd love to do. And no word of a lie, I said, what would you, what's your absolute dream? You know, if you could That's drop true. everything and, you know, have two tickets to see a concert or a sports event, what would it be? And he was like, 
I just want to go cruising. And, I, <laughs> and, and that's the this thing, is, if you have, yeah. once, you, once you start, yeah. that's it. You, you get the bug and you can't and, stop. Well, um, I also... How many know, have you done now? I think I'm about to my 23rd. I've been very lucky, I know. <laughs> but I do love... The you should have worked on them. 23? I know. I still might, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> let's remind you of the drinks package, because if you book an ocean view or above, you will get the classic drinks package. Now, this isn't all about alcohol. But it's, it's about having a fantastic experience throughout the cruise. So, I always start off with a few specialty coffees. I love those. They're all included in the salted juices, bottled water, non-alcoholic cocktails, brilliant selection of beers and a just and you love your yeah, beers. Craft oh, yeah. I'm more, I, do you know what? I, I, the wines. Yeah, the wines are excellent. And, and the spirits. Yeah. Well, I'll be trying a bit of everything. And the cocktails, of course, as well. But that Drink, is all Drink responsibly. Included. I do, I do. Uh, ish. But anyway, that is all included for anybody that goes for an ocean view and above. And for the first time, I'm going to actually um, try an aqua class in January. Um, and the main reason for me, I mean, I love things like the priority check-in, but actually it was the exclusive access to the blue speciality restaurant. Everyone says it is outstanding. And actually we've got some brilliant prices and aqua class for this trip as well. And uh, complimentary access to the Persian garden. So loads of extras if you do go for aqua class on the cruise that I'm going to be hosting next year. But thank you, and a lot of you have already booked that, so thank you so much. And it is an amazing price right now. So, uh, yes, I will see you in October. And thank you so much to all of those that have already booked. But we're going to move on to Royal Caribbean next. And this was actually my first cruise was with Royal Caribbean. A great cruise line. Yeah. You know, it really is the destination of fun. The actual ships themselves, uh, you know, are, are very, very entertainment orientated and great for families. But this particular package that we've got um, is 17 nights. We're not looking at this new year. We're actually looking at next new year. And you've also got a land tour before yeah. you join your crew. So when I it's say like it's, pretty much half of this is land and then half cruise, isn't I'd, it? I'd say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It really is. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, let's uh, give you a, a little taster. And we start off with, of course, our flight over to Hanoi, don't we? Yep, flying over to Hanoi. And this is where you actually get a chance to immerse yourself in the, the, the culture. And the great thing is here, you have a, a one night stay and then you're transferring to this amazing place, Heilong Bay. Now, this is where, again, Planet Cruise, we like to think of, of everything, or we try to cover everything. This is where you're gonna get three fantastic experiences included in your hotel stay because you'll get transferred to a cruise ship where you'll stay overnight and actually get to visit the floating village itself. Uh, whilst on board, you'll get to experience a Vietnamese cooking demonstration on board with dinner. And the following morning, that sunrise there, not the exact sunrise, but you get a chance to have a Tai Chi lesson while the sun is Ooh. rising over Heilong Bay. Do you know, I'd actually I'd really enjoy that. I, yeah. Again, if somebody said to me, do you want to do a Tai Chi lesson? I'd probably be like, mm. Okay, yeah, I'm game for it. But, but there, sunrise, <laughs> yeah. open deck, beautiful vistas. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you're going to do it, do it. Do it. You know. And the fact is, it's included, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly, it's included. Um, then you're actually going to be uh, a f further. This is a further night stay, um, and this is where you get chance to go to the famous temple of literature. Um, you can go to the old quarter as well of Heilong. Um, you'll also get a chance to see one of the famous water puppet show in uh, Hanoi, and you'll also get to experience uh, Ho Chi Minh City's quarter, um, uh, the Min Mausoleum as well, the Stilt House under the One Pillar Pagoda as well. All of that is included as well, and this is before we've even transferred across from Heilong Bay to see him reap because you get then a three-night stay, including a New Year's Eve gala dinner, which again, to right. celebrate in such an iconic location. I mean, when I say it looks like it's been in a film, the amount of films that have been out here, I mean, it, it does look like a... I mean, what a way to spend New Year. I a, mean, a fantastic way. You get two days around the temples. The first is a tour around all of the temples um, in the actual area itself, a grand circuit of temples. And then you get to go to Angkor Wat as well, um, which is just absolutely remarkable. And then you transfer from your airport from C Siem Reap to Singapore. Now, this is usually where I'd say, right, this is your sort of your break. You've done a lot. You've done tours. You've had a lot included. You've had a lot of experience in culture. I'm going to tell you now, do not take your foot off the gas. Singapore has got so much to offer. You can see the Marina Bay Gardens around here. In fact, just down in the bottom left-hand side, this is, oh, look at this. 
In the centre of that, there's actually a bar that you can go upstairs. The drinks are a little bit expensive, but the view is unbelievable. I would recommend doing this particular attraction at night. So you walk into the Marina Bay Hotel, that's the three uh, pillars with the cruise ship across the top, and it quite literally was built to design to look like that, and you can go through there. Bear in mind though, there's so much more. There's the food markets there, the shopping is fantastic. You can see the Singapore Flyer, uh, which is like the Millennium Wheel just in the background there. Um, there is so many great hotels. I highly recommend going to the rooftop bar in the Mandarin Oriental. Ask the Felix and say that Justin sent you. Um, yeah, I kid you not, I kid you not. He's a fantastic sommelier. Anyway, um, this is only halfway through your, um, your tour because this is where your cruise actually starts. And, and this is an 11th night cruise. So I'll give you a little taster of what life is like with, of course, uh, the one and only Royal Caribbean. And first of all, there is so much to do. I mean, I've done this, the rock climbing. I wasn't very good, but I got, I got about halfway. Um, there's an ice skating rink. The shows in there are fantastic as well. You've got the golf courses. You've got the most amazing spas if you just want to chill and relax. Love the main dining room. Staff so friendly, great cuisine, you know, world-class cuisine every single night. And then, of course, lots of specialty restaurants for you to try as well. That's Johnny Rockets. Um, and obviously, about, I don't, it's, it, every, I think it's about every 20 minutes, half an hour, and gets up and dances and things. So great burgers, great fries, great um, kids' clubs as well. I mean, it truly is an experience for all of the family, including the extended family. And I love this part of the ship, the Royal Promenade. Um, it's a real hub of the ship. The, the form lights are brilliant down there. You can have a flutter at the casino and, of course, be wowed by the Broadway style entertainment as well. Um, there is honestly never a dull moment with Royal Caribbean. It's loads it's, of fun. I'd, I'd actually go to say it's almost like Vegas at sea. Yeah, I agree. Because you've got everything there. It really is, really is fantastic. But the destinations, again, you can't take your foot off the gas because the place that you see, Kuala Lumpur. Um, this is iconic for, of course, the Patronus or Petronas Twin Towers, depending on which locality you're in. Of course, the Sky Bridge, uh, just across there, is highly recommended. The only thing is, uh, if they still do it as they used to, they only issue tickets out first thing in the morning. So either book a tour really, really soon or get there at the crack of dawn to get on the Sky Tower because it's definitely worth it. There's great shopping down at the bottom of the Petronas Towers as well. Um, it is a little bit of a journey in from the port itself, so make sure that you book a tour. Uh, there's some fantastic mosques as well, so if you really want to immerse yourself in the culture, then please do. Then we're off to Penang. Now, in complete contrast, Penang um, is, is, you've got the skyscrapers of Kuala Lumpur. Penang is actually um, so beautiful. There's a butterfly farm here. Um, one thing I'd, I'd love to do, because I just think the beauty, you know, only a few days that they're, they're, they're living, but such beauty. Apparently, um, legend has it, the actual island itself, um, when they tried to clear the island, what they did was they fired a cannon full of gold coins to get all of the islanders uh, to clear the actual groves itself. So, you know, <laughs> right, try and find the coins, go through there. If somebody did that in my garden, I'd be, I'd be doing the gardening all the time. Um, but definitely a lovely place to go. Now, oh, Langkawi. Oh, Langkawi. This... It's this, is, this is paradise, isn't it? Let's all laugh. Paradise? It is just heaven. Oh. Just, it's just like standing on a, a beach I mean, full of sugar. It's so refined. It's just and, beautiful. And again, what a way to spend the beginning of 2018. You know? This is probably the first opportunity you'll have to relax. I'm telling you now yeah. because, I mean, there's, there's some great sort of local markets as well. There's a great cable car there as well, and Eagle Square, and definitely the Hanging Bridge as well, If you obviously, if, if you like your heights. Um, but one thing I'd love to do is a mangrove cruise where you can go on like a little canoe through the mangroves. It's great fun, so uh, definitely do that. And then we're on to, well, it's like stick or twist. Are you going to bar? or are you going to jackpot because Phuket, wow, you are there overnight. This is a great opportunity to completely contrast in shades of a culture because by daytime you've got the serenity of the temples and by the evening you've got the wildness uh, of, of just, it's incredible. I'd, I'd love to have an overnight on board and I can, I can assure you, I mean, you, you, if you're looking at this and going, hang on, haven't I seen that in James Bond film? Yes, you have. The man with the golden gun. Where's Nick knack when you need him? Uh, and if it's good enough for a Bond villain, it's good enough for me. So uh, that definitely looks just awesome. Then you've got a day at sea before you come back to Singapore. 
That's your 17 night once in a and lifetime. It is phenomenal. And what is so nice with Planet Crew is they are absolute experts at getting everything arranged for you. So, you know, generally speaking, you get all your transfers, all the hotels, of course. Um, so don't forget, you've got the six nights Vietnam and Cambodia land tour, all with uh, selected meals included as well. Return flights based on London, the two nights stay in Singapore, and the New Year's gala dinner in Siem Reap there as well. I mean, when you look at the flights, the land uh, tours, the hotels, the cruise, amazing value, isn't it? But look, if you, think you, if you can think you can do it cheaper yourself, if you want to do it yourself, then please do. But we're the experts and the specialists that put this together. We have cruise lines that will come to us. In fact, we've got one cruise coming up, which is a Planet Cruise exclusive. So sometimes you don't get these deals elsewhere. And the and fact that you are phoning up dedicated experts, the people that you speak yeah. to, um, they've been on cruises, um, they've worked in the industry, so they know what they're on about. Um, I think it's, I, seriously, I think it's fantastic. Uh, what, what a highlight. Yeah. That I one. mean, and to be away for New Year's. Anyway, um, remember, it's its own ID number, which is one two four. Four four nine. So give us a call, Fowler. And um, even if you just want more information, you know, really friendly team, ready to take your calls. Now we're going to move on to uh, a ship that was on a few years ago, actually, with Norwegian Cruise Lines, the Norwegian Jade. I had a great time. Yeah. Well, this one's all inclusive, and you've got the option of either two hundred dollars on board spend or free Wi-Fi. We'll tell you a little and, bit more about and that. And the all-inclusive, that's for all cabins as well, isn't that's it? That's yeah. all cabin So grades. that's even the inside, it's all-inclusive. But anyway, here are two of your favourites, our Keith and our Glenn, to tell you a little bit more. If your idea of a cruise is dim lighting, string quartets, tuxedos and ballroom dancing, then prepare to be challenged, because this cruise line is so laid back, it's almost horizontal. Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to freestyle cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week, and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising, so whatever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars and champagne bars, our fresco bars and wine bars, bars with music and bars with sport, even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two story high screen or challenging a friend on the all new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table. Or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile with dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. I really like Norwegian cruise lines and, I, and, and I've got to say, I went, I went with friends and they weren't sure about cruising, so they liked to just like the fact that it was all informal, yeah. this casual atmosphere, no set dining time. It's, it's fairly really relaxed, about, you know. Well, and the facilities on board, the two main guy, dining yeah. rooms, you've got Le Bistro, you've got Cagney Steakhouse, you've got an Asian restaurant, a tapas restaurant, Jasmine Garden, Italian Kitchen, uh, Blue Lagoon, you've got the Garden Cafe, Tapanyaki Bar as well, Top Ciders Bar and Grill, and a sushi bar. Oh, there's no food I like that. There's no food that you like there. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I, it's, it's that okay. Was a joke. I, I've got something there. How about the bars? Because you've got the Fizz Cabaret Lounge and Nightclub, you've got Shaker's Martini and Cocktail Bar, Magnum Champagne and Wine Bar, Spinnaker Lounge, Java Lounge, Sky High Bar, Maltings Beer and Whiskey Bar, Topsiders Bar and Grill, the Internet Cafe that does cafe drinks, and the Stardust Lounge as well. So plenty of places to frequent <laughs> when you're on your all inclusive holiday. Oh, so that is, oh yeah, it is all inclusive. Of all course. inclusive. Yeah. Plenty I, of bars there. Honestly, I. Cruise, if you've never been on a cruise, I said it earlier, they are fantastic. Oh, and don't forget this one's deposit only as well. Oh, so, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, again, perfect for those of you that, uh, you know, obviously spent a little bit of money over, over Christmas, then it's perfect. Well, let's give you uh, 
a little taster of where you're going to be cruising to. So it's out of Southampton again, nice and easy, no flying whatsoever. And we're making our way. You said this earlier, actually, just in to Rotterdam, which we've hardly featured on the show, have we? No, I think no. perhaps once, once or twice in the last couple of years. I mean, bear in mind, Rotterdam was heavily uh, destroyed in the Second World War. So a lot of the, the buildings that you see there are very, very modern. You've got the main, uh, well, the Erasmus Bridge, uh, which links the two sides there. So plenty to see and do. Um, and great shopping and cafe culture as well. Um, one thing, if you like your crafts, the Delft factory, you know, the blue and white china. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, um, they've got the Delft factory there, so if you do want to book a tour, book that early. Nice relaxing day at sea, and then we're into Oslo, and this is fantastic for its museums. Um, plenty of Viking museums here, and a fantastic sculpture park that you can uh, wander around. The sculptures, they, they, it, it, you look at it from a distance, you think, okay, they're, they're sculptures. There's a few obelisks get close and it's incredible what they've actually done with the ob obelisks. I won't, I won't ruin, ruin the surprise, but it's lovely walking around there. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking the time of the year that you're actually going in September, I should imagine it's still going to be quite warm in the daytime. So it'll actually be a really nice, fresh, crisp day walking around the park there. Um, so plenty to see and do in Oslo. Then we're into Copenhagen, one of my favourite ports. Straight away, off the actual cruise ship itself, there's some great um, uh, shops and bars, as you, you have in many cruise terminals. But then you go down into the, uh, the main town, and then on to Tivoli Gardens. Now, Tivoli Gardens is one of the oldest amusement uh, parks in the world. Um, of course, there's plenty of other things to see and do. You can go and see some of the uh, fantastic gardens, and you've got to go and see the Little Mermaid as well. Of course, the, uh, the pl birthplace of Christian Anderson. Yeah, she is quite literally a Little Mermaid, and it is worth getting a, a photo. The only thing is, don't do what I did and step down and try and get closer to you because you will get your, not just your feet wet you'll get wet up to your knees and you have to go back to the ship get changed and then come back out again <laughs> um, look, take it from somebody who knows anyway uh, relaxing day at sea and then we're over to Hamburg now Hamburg has actually got uh, very special memories for me um, because bizarrely this is, this is actually where I proposed to my future ex-wife and um, no, no she's not she's just in fact I nearly chose the town hall. Just off of the town hall, the town square, um, there's uh, a lovely little bar called The Tamer. And that's where I actually popped the question. Uh, of course, you've got loads to see and do here. You've got Beatles tours, because of course, this is um, uh, part of the Beatles history. You've got the Reaper Barn as well. Uh, a little bit more lively at night, shall we say. Uh, and also, you've got the Dry Docks. And funnily enough, when we were in, um, in Hamburg, and I'm popping the question, there was one of our old cruise ships, the Oceana, being refitted really? in Hamburg. So, uh, yeah, it was Fair kind of... Yeah. yeah, it was weird, weird. Um, but then you got a relaxing day here and then back into Southampton. Of course, again, another Southampton, Southampton cruise. Yes, we've got the opportunity, if you wish, to stay at the Marriott as well on this one. And for those of you that can't fly or don't like to fly, then it's a perfect pr cruise, especially at that price. And uh, just a quick recap of uh, this fabulous ship. So I was on a few years ago, and, yeah, she was great. Loads of really vibrant, really colourful as well. And, uh, again, you do get a lot included. So let's recap. You will get, no matter which cabin grade you go for, you will get a free all-inclusive drinks package. And I mean, I know I talk about drinks packages quite a lot, but I, it just makes it easy. And I've only, I've only done one or two cruises without a drinks package. And you're always worried about, you know, uh, to some degree, what bill you're going to have at the end. Um, it's just easy. And you don't have to worry at all. It's all included in the price there. And um, you'll also get free Wi-Fi or up to $200 on board spend. Or if you're looking outside and above. Um, I think I'd go for two hundred dollars on that one. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, if you if you're on your your phone a lot, then Wi-Fi is going to be useful. But I think yeah, I'll go with you on that. Perhaps do it for some but, spa treatments or perhaps hit the shops. But anyway, choice is yours on that one. And as uh, just to mention, with it being from Southampton, you can also stay the night before in the Mian Valley Marriott, and that does save you a lot of money because you get free parking and return port transfers as well. Now, it's a great drinks package, by the way. You'll get all of your uh, various spirits and cocktails, uh, wine by the glass, bottled or draft beers, and fountain soda and juice as well. So there's some of the drinks that will be included as well. Got a good show time, haven't I? Well, I was going to say, the last two cruises that we've got, um, I'd say to, say to the viewers out there, do you like small cruise ships? Do you like a, a more intimate, quieter, laid-back feeling? Um, because if you do, the next two cruises, depending on your, your price range, are going to be perfect for you. Because the next one from P&O is one of the smallest ships in the fleet. We're talking 32,000 tonnes, um, which means you've only got a maximum capacity of 710 passengers. Now, I think that... 
But wait, you've got 373 crew. So, it's, two to one. Yeah, a, a fantastic small cruise ship. The price is fantastic. And also, the ports that you go into, because she's such a small ship, she can get into the ports that you don't usually see on bigger itineraries when there are 115 or, you know, 3,000 passengers. I mean, I, I love both. I love the big ships, the small ships, the medium size. But there is something really nice and intimate about a ship of this size. Uh, and she's the smallest in the fleet with Pino, isn't she? Yeah, well, yeah. Adonia is actually, the, the actual name has been with P&O since the, the early noughties. I actually launched the original Adonia, which came across oh, really? the Princess fleet. Uh, there's been a couple of incarta incarnations since, but this is actually uh, part of the Australian fleet. I believe that's Arcadia that you're seeing there. Yes, this gives the moment, taste But it gives you a feel of what P&O &O is all about. But Adonia is the smallest ship, and she is absolutely beautiful. Again, very British, the, the quality of the food and... Well, the staff, I mean, a lot of the staff that I was working with are still actually working on the cruise ships. They dedicate their lives to it, and it is very much a family feel. And with P&O, they know the British market. Uh, fantastic facilities on board as well, and great entertainment. So you're really not going to um, uh, go far wrong with this one. But again, this is, this is perfect for those of you that haven't cruised before. Why not make your first cruise on a small ship so you can find your way around easy? Uh, why not do it with, with something like this? It's under £100 per person tonight. And tonight you can get this with just a deposit only at this expensive time of the year. Um, and these are exclusive discounts, we should say, as well. Yes. I know my, um, as my mum's got a bit older, my mum's done quite a few cruise holidays, and she just, now she's a bit older, she just prefers the smaller ship because it's just easier for her to get around. She's a bit slower than she used to be, bless her. So P and I have always been great for single travellers. In yeah. fact, I don't, I don't know where they still have travelling alone, where where uh, the some of the offices will actually host a, a little coffee morning, just so you can get chatting and then, then make some uh, some friends. My mum always makes... Uh, some friends on a cruise ship, yeah. Do you know my she Sean? <laughs> <laughs> He's on the telly. She's proud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's show you uh, again uh, the the lovely uh, say ports that you're going to be visiting because some that we don't regularly see. And again, as Justin said, because some of the ports are a lot smaller. So we're uh, cruising out of Southampton again, aren't we? Yeah, first port of call we've actually covered in tonight's show already. St Peter's Port, a fantastic port for uh, your shopping and historics and great tours as well. So. Uh, but have a look at a little bit of a review with that one. Then we're off to a place I have never featured. I think maybe, maybe once, Biritz. Now this, this is, believe it or not, where surfing was introduced to France. And that gives you some sort of an idea of the feel. Fantastic beaches and very, very laid back. Think it's almost like Cornwall and the surfer community has been taken over to to France. Oh, nice. It's sort of yeah. like camper vans, people go out and see. It's, it's just absolutely fantastic. It's almost France's new key. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing, but uh, yeah, you can get the general fit. I'd love to go there. Yeah. I really, really would. Uh, then we're off to Santander. And, uh, yeah, this is a port that I never actually got the, the opportunity to go into because even at that point, the ships were too large. Uh, now, this is a fantastic... This is actually the capital of Canterbury, uh, which is uh, an elegant city which is stretched across a, a wide bay with... Many stunning beaches, so you've got plenty to go and do if the weather's good. Also good if the weather's not great. Uh, a fantastic shopping hub that you've actually got here. The Avidio Boulevard uh, is especially good with street vendors, so if you like to bring back some authentic goods from the local region. Uh, and also fishing as well, the uh, uh, fantastic fishing region, so the, the seafood's going to be great there. Uh, then we're off to La Coronia. Uh, of course, we, we covered this earlier on. There's some fantastic... Um, uh, monuments here. That's one thing that I never actually got a chance to, to see and do, and I'd love to go and do that. I was brought up not far from Avebury, so sort of like the Avebury Stone Circle. I'd love to go and see these monuments as well. Um, and of course, you can do your tours on in inland as well. Uh, but then, nice relaxing day at sea and back in Southampton. That wraps up yet another short, ideal first time cruise, which is deposit only. Here's the Adonia. Um, you can actually see that she is a lot smaller ship. And when I say, uh, you know, we're talking six star exclusive with Silver Seas next, um, the only comparison is, is the size, really. I mean, it depends on your budget. This is great value for money. You are not going to go wrong with the decor uh, and the quality of the service and the food. But if you really want something special, then we've got something in a couple of seconds time. Um, we have we've got something for everybody tonight. And all budgets, yeah. we should say, as well. By the way, you've seen different staterooms there. I mean, to give you an idea, you can get the Ocean View for you know anything from about £50 more on this one as well. So great prices on the Ocean Views. Now, we've got exclusive discounts to Planet Cruise on this. It is a deposit only. 
and as I mentioned, you can upgrade from an inside to an outside from under eight pounds per person per night, and it's really worth doing that just for a few pounds oh, to definitely. get that lovely view, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, especially the places that you're going to be going into, and what, what, what's eight pounds? It's two glasses of wine. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, true. so if you think about it in that that sort of realm, then it's great value. Um, by the way, with um, with this being P and O, everything's in the British pound as well, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm just thinking that's yeah, it probably works out quite good at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> just, just <'cause laughs> I don't know whether that's something we should be promoting or not. But still, yeah, it does. Um, yeah it's very, it's, yeah. it's, it's very, well, very good. All I know from my own experience, you know, the drinks are very reasonable. That's what I mean. You know, they oh, really yeah. are. You know, definitely, really definitely. good. So anyway, um, give us a call for that one. I think that's wonderful at six nine nine. I'd say, <sighs> what's the date on that one? Uh, mm. That was fifty April. Yeah. Just thinking, my mum would might like that one maybe. But yeah, time, yeah. perfect. Uh, and it's deposit only. I know. Put the deposit down for it. No. No, I'll take her. I'd go with her. I'd go with her. A group of us. Now, anyway, we've got one final cruise, and Justin just mentioned this one. So we actually featured Silver Sea a few weeks ago, and it turned out to be extremely popular. And this really is six-star cruising at its absolute best. I think Silver Sea, this is a, a, a company that we all aspire to go on the Silver Sea, because once you've done a few things, Yeah, but then it's, it. it's not just cruisers, it's people within the cruise industry oh, yeah, yeah. aspire to go on They have got an one. amazing reputation, haven't they? Well, all the suites have butler services, you can see there. Um, it is a shorter cruise, but look at the great value that you've got there. I think this is absolutely phenomenal value for the product that you're getting. The actual company was set up by an Italian company that still runs the, uh, the, the cruise line itself and it's got this fantastic Italian flair. As you mentioned earlier on about the butlers, that's in all of the actual suites itself. Um, you've got free Wi-Fi throughout the ship as well. And well, the ratio of crew members to uh, cruisers, uh, it's, it's absolutely superb. You've got 376 crew and a maximum maximum capacity of only 540 wow. um, so it's just fantastic you've got and multiple restaurants here you've got speciality restaurants as well uh, which your butler can book for you um, just to, to drop that in I, I, I really can't emphasize this enough this is something you really need to chew over yeah. and think about because six stars I've been lucky enough to, to travel five star occasions with business Six star, wow. if you've got an anniversary, if you've got a special occasion, or a just because moment, where you just think, blow it, just I because, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to book it, this is the one to go for. And, and we are getting, I mean, the reason why Silver Sea are doing so well on the show, we are getting some amazing prices recently, we really are, uh, and this is a prime example of that. And on this one as well, we should say you are getting return Free return business class flights, aren't business we? Business class, yeah. Yeah. Business class, which again st just starts the whole cruise off the um, right way. And uh, you also get, I'm just looking here, it's brilliant actually. You've, now you must pay, we've got to mention, you've got to pay in full by the 30th of December, yeah. haven't you? No, no, look, we, we just said about, um, you know, the offers that we have. The last offer that we have from PO is an exclusive offer. We've got lots that is deposit only. If you're in the market to spend this sort of money and yeah. snap a bargain for a six star i can't believe i've just used the word bargain in six star then but it is amazing this one pay it by and the 30th december and again to celebrate your, your cruise you get a fortnum and mason uh, fortnum and mason hamper as well yes champagne yeah yes and chocolates and chocolates uh, and you do get free all-inclusive on this by the way free wi-fi and free business class flights so the value is extraordinary anyway starts off with your business class flight <laughs> I'll say that again, your business class flight over to Barcelona, doesn't it? Yeah, this is your embarkation port, but your first port of call is Mallorca. Fantastic day. Having a look around the marinas and, well, checking out some of the sports cars there. Or we'll go shopping. I tell you, the cathedral's fantastic. And there's some great tours as well. But if you go in six star, just live the life of luxury and just go to a marina and just sit there. The, the, the actual boulevard there is actually sort of their own sort of La Ramblas. Um, that uh, you usually associate with Barcelona. Anyway, we're off to Sardinia next, we're off to Cagliari. Now this is beaches, this is bars, fantastic promenades, and then you've got absolute history here. Uh, you've got the Cathedral of Santa Maria, uh, you've also got the castle region as well, which is the oldest and most iconic district, so you definitely want to have a little bit of a walk around there. Uh, then we're off to Italy, and we're off to Palermo. Now, this again, if you, if you love cathedrals and architecture, then this is going to be perfect. I mean, look at the, the ocean there as well. It's a fantastic port, again, for getting off and just having a lazy lunch, you know, a nice chill glass of rosé. 
just have a little bit of a nibble and then have another glass of rosé, just enjoy it. Or you can do all the sights and the sounds. Uh, lots of Norman influence here as well, so if you do love your history, uh, there's actually, you can go to the catacombs, and there's actually 8,000 mummified bodies there. Um, so I know some people find it a little bit creepy, but I think it's just a fantastic bit of history, and it gives you some sort of an idea of how far it dates back. Then we're off to Valletta. This is one of my very first ports all those years ago, and I remember one thing that I would recommend highly is make sure you have breakfast out on deck. Um, if you're lucky enough, obviously, to have a balcony, which 85% of you uh, on board the ship will have, then you can have it on your balcony. But I definitely recommend it because this is quite literally the scene that your, your ship's going to pull up uh, alongside and you can just look at this gorgeous sandstone. Uh, definitely go to uh, St. John's, uh, which is the nice hospital. Uh, Start again, Justin. Yeah, they um, no, completely move on. Fast forward. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> um, move over that one. We'll get, let's get. Let's head off to Sicily. And this again. Um, do you know, you know the Godfather films? Yeah, I can't course. believe. I can't believe I'm going to admit this. I've never seen the Godfather. Really? I know. I'm really ashamed of that. I need to see it in the next few weeks. But this is the region they filmed it. So if you can imagine, if you have seen the Godfather, I mean, we all know what. The Godfather is generally about. Um, you can actually go to see uh, the churches, and you can go to see some of the houses and the, the location. Apart from that, again, it's uh, the gateway to Mount Etna. I mean, you can do it when you're in uh, Palermo, but uh, I'd, I'd go to say that this is just a great opportunity. Of course, Etna's 10,000 uh, feet high, snow-capped mountains, active volcano. So if you do want to uh, go, go up there, then uh, that's a bit of an experience. Uh, then we're off to Naples. Now, Naples, all I'm going to say is be Beep, beep, yeah. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, it is just so busy. It's absolutely bustling. It's just the beeps of little lambrettas and vespers. Um, everybody's on espressos. Probably that's why they're beeping. Say, great coffee. Um, yeah. yeah, and also if you do want to do your tours, then you can go to the Amalfi Coast here. You can go uh, across to Vesuvius. Um, you, you can go across to Capri as well. So, plan to see and do that. A, a really good port, strong port to finish the cruise off with, because then you're going to be going into Civitavecchia and back to Rome, and then disembarking back. Home. And it's normally just you, you kind of dread the flight back, but you will be class. fine, yeah, business class. <laughs> so, uh, you know, <laughs> you'll have a great flight back. So let's just remind you, I mean, Silver Sea have given us an outstanding offer tonight. Free return business class flights and, of course, all your overseas transfers. Huge savings now. Um, the savings are included in the prices shown, but you've got to pay in full by the 30th of December. And you will also get, for everyone that books tonight, you will receive an exclusive Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolates gift box as well, as a thank you from Planet Cruise and, of course, Silver Sea as well. Um, that is an outstanding experience, and so you get the free all-inclusive as well on that one. Yeah, yeah. And all the rooms, actually, all the state rooms, they're all clustered suites, aren't they, as well? Yep. We're, we're yep. looking at them earlier, they look... Really? And that's butler service all, all the way through. Yeah. And it, it's just a feel. Oh. It's like a private club. Um, again, six star. I've, ne I've yeah. never been lucky enough to, to travel six star. So and you've got that opportunity. I mean, four star on a cruise is brilliant. Five star is exceptional. Imagine what six star is going to be like. Well, you don't have to imagine. You could book that one tonight, hopefully. And uh, so I'm quite envious for those of you that already have. Now, um, we are um, sadly nearly out of time. Um, I always love this show. I always. Uh, so I always look forward to it, and I know that many of you tune in every single Tuesday to see what's on offer. So let's just remind you of everything that we've seen uh, tonight, the last show of the year, of course, as well. We started off with Princess Cruises on board, the Crown Princess, uh, this wonderful seven-night Spain and France cruise. Uh, you will get up to $75 on board, but we had a great price for Family of Four, actually, that special, don't forget, at $1279. And uh, we did mention on various cruises from Southampton, you could, of course, stay the night before in the Mian Valley Marriott as well. Um, 489 is a fantastic price, and it was a low deposit. I think it was just £50 deposit on that one yep. to secure your place. Yep. But I think that's going to be very busy. Then, my cruise, I will be on board this one. Ooh. And uh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. Justin is very jealous, by the way. Um, but I'm going to be on board, and I'm going to advise everybody, I know most of you have done this, 
But if you go for an ocean view or a balcony, you will get a free classic drinks package and free parking as well. So really worth doing that. You'll also get, uh, everyone will get their prepaid gratuities as well and say, I'll be on board for the whole cruise. And I, I, I do you know, I always, I, I love hosting cruises, particularly with celebrity. And I will uh, say, really look forward to chatting to you all and discussing cruises and things like that. And I will also be hosting an exclusive cocktail party as well. I'll tell you who else who's thinking about booking this one. Hayley, our lovely presenter Hayley. She's thinking about coming on this one as well. So yes, you might get double trouble. Uh, now, we also... <laughs> I might book it and then it'll be yeah, all over. over. <laughs> yeah, just to, then it will be a real party. Then we, uh, we also have the Mariner of the Seas. And I love this one, Justin, because you've got all of the, the land tour and then you've got this fantastic cruise, of course, as well. Six night Vietnam and Cambodia land tour, as I mentioned. Return flights based on London. A two night stay in Singapore. And imagine that, the New Year's Eve gala dinner in Siam Reap there as well. Deposit only on that one, 2549 tonight. We then had a really, really great offer with Norwegian Cruise Line. It's the uh, eight night Norway and Denmark cruise, again from Southampton, 769. And every single one of you, no matter what uh, cabin grade you go for, will get a free all-inclusive drinks package. That is worth an awful lot with uh, Norwegian Cruise Line. It really is worth a lot of money. And free Wi-Fi of up to $200 on board spend on an outside and above tonight as well. We then had p and um, I have cruised with p great experience, but what really appealed to me is the fact that this is uh, such an intimate ship. I think Justin said just over 700 passengers and the price there starting at just 699. Again, just to deposit only. And actually, do you know, go for an outside. You can get that from just eight pounds per person per night as well. Then finally, last but my by no means least, this amazing opportunity to go six star with Silver Sea. And um, I haven't cruised with Silver Sea yet. They are on my wish list. I have, I've got friends that have, and they are absolutely hooked. And you will get a free all-inclusive tonight with that as well, and loads of extras. Uh, price starting at 1899. Huge savings on this one. And remember, free return business class flights, huge savings, and a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolate gift as well. Everything is on our website. And don't forget, if you, if you didn't see anything you like, Planet Cruise can find you any cruise with any company, any time of the year. Justin, I'm going to say thank you so much. I won't, I'm going on my, um, my cruise to Australia a week today. <laughs> I guess I'll see you next year. I've got some tissue. I've got some <laughs> tissues somewhere. Listen, have a great New Year, mate. Absolute Dave. pleasure. Um, I don't know. Paul Beck is going to be in this seat, isn't yep. it? Next yep. week. We'll see you next Tuesday in 2017. Yeah. So have a great New Year. I'll see you.